The third annual military ball, he's cheering again. That will be on November 3rd, later this year, at the American Legion. It's quite an event. If you haven't been, you should come. And Ken, right behind them, one of my favorite groups, the Patton Academy, Farragut Career Academy, J-R-O-T-C, Drum and Drill and Drums Team. Let's listen to that cadence as they go by. This is a large unit, too. Yeah.
present arms. We will cite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boop. Uh, I want to introduce a couple of people that just showed up. First of all, we have Commissioner uh, Jesus Garcia, Cook County Commissioner. Thank you very much. And we have the commander of the Dern and Dunn Post, Rudy Acevedo, welcome, welcome very much, okay? I want to read a biography of Manuel Perez in case you don't know him. Manuel Perez Jr. was born on March 3rd, 1923 in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. At the age of three, Manuel Perez moved to Chicago. He attended Goodrich and Jackson Elementary Schools, Crane Technical High School, located on the west side of Chicago. His family lived on the near west side of Racine and Taylor Street. Their parents were St. Francis of Assisi Church on Roosevelt Road. Manuel was employed by Fest Foods and Company until he was drafted into the U.S. Army during World War II in 1943. He volunteered for parachute duty and was sent to the Pacific Theater of War. He served as a paratrooper in the 11th Airborne Infantry Division. While serving as a lead scout for Company A, 511th Parachute Infantry, Manuel is credited with knocking out 11 of 12 pillboxes. On February 28, 1945, he wrote to his uncle, Private Jesse Pettis, who was also in South Pacific. He wrote, Dear Uncle, they are putting me in for a medal, and it's not the Purple Heart. You will be surprised how big it's going to be. Your nephew, Manuel Perez. It is comforting to know that...